Uh, past couple of days, I've been thinking about why I'm doing these vlogs. And a good portion of it is, I think it helps me. And so many of my friends or people who I thought were friends were getting tired of hearing it. So I have stopped talking to most of them and I've actually lost friends. I've lost friends because they were tired of hearing it. Friends are supposed to be there for you and supposed to listen to you and you listen to them. And I'm quickly finding out that friends that I thought I've had for a long time weren't friends at all. Finding out that people who were important to me I was never important to them. Finding out that even someone that was your wife for 12 years doesn't want to listen to you anymore. She doesn't want to be friends. She's glad I'm gone. She's glad I'm out of her life. She, she got tired of hearing it. Part of me understands a big part of me does not. It's like everyone that I had that was I thought was going to help me through this is gone. It's uh it's hard. <laughs> yeah, I figured. Um uh, things that well things that weigh me down. It's like I look at the past two, three, four years of my life with my wife, I guess and my ex-wife, and I'm like, wow, all the puzzle pieces fit together now. I was the one making her miserable. I was the one making her depressed. I was the one making her drink three to five times a week at night just so she can deal with me. And I think, damn, what a god-awful husband I must have been. If I was her, I'd be glad to get rid of me too. And I see all the changes that she's making now. She's motivated to get the house situated. She's motivated to do things, period. She's just a whole new person without me. So I guess if I had something weighing me down that much too, I'd be happy to get rid of them. She changes she had was she got rid of the thing that weighed her down and found another thing that made her happy. So something I haven't been able to do for years. Plus she gets to stay in a um, she's known for 12 years with two kids in there that are there regularly and of course the two dogs, everything that I miss. I'm stuck in this freaking place. He must be one hell of a man. He must be 10 times the man I ever was. He's happy, he's happy. My kids are even happier without me. My kids hate being at my apartment. The only thing they like doing here is swimming. Every time they're here, it's like two hours later, when can we go home? When can we go home? It's like, I get it, kids. This apartment's not my home either. Another thing that messes with me is music. I used to find so much joy in music. Now every single freaking song I come across is either taken to a different time, a different place. A time when I was happy, a time when I was sad. A certain time with my wife. Times when I was happy with my wife. Times when she was not happy with me. And like, I have to turn the radio off because I can't stand it anymore. Oh my God, this life I'm in right now, 
something's got to change. Some sort of happiness has got to come in because the life I'm living is not worth living. I promise you that. So funny today, a guy that I see every day, I think he's in his mid 60s. He purposely acts gay just to throw off all the homophobes I work, I work with. I work with a lot of them. And he could tell I was down. He knows I've been down for a while and he just kind of scooted over, started talking to me. He's like, you know what? I lost my wife several years back and we were married for 39 and a half years. And he lost her to some disease. I can't remember the name because it was definitely not a very common disease. And he's like, you will get through this. People say time heals the wounds. I'm telling you right now, it does not. There's times I still am in my office here at GAF and I break down, which did not give me a whole lot of hope because he lost his wife like five or ten years ago. It's, um, you'll have okay days, and you'll have a lot of bad days, but in the end, you'll be okay. And I'm thinking, I want to be more than okay because this life I'm living right now sucks. I hate 98% of the sh stuff about it. I really don't want to do this anymore. There's got to be something better somewhere, sometimes. Anything's got to be better than being stuck in this apartment. The job that sucks and eats up all my time. Makes me just feel like I can't be anything, like I can't be a good father. Makes me feel worse when my kids hear me. When can we go home? I told mom I'd spend time with you for the next two nights. I want to go home. I do two things.